Okay, this is the updated version of the video I posted out earlier. Finally got the rack from Home Depot. I purchased the rack for $47 and it's metal. Not like the plastic one that you'll buy from Amazon, just letting you guys know they are held on by plastic clips. But you can look at the plastic clips right here. I mean, they fan out towards the bottom, so they, they, they smell pretty nice. This is the way I have my hooked up right here. One is hot, one is cold. I bought two velves, which is like $13 at Home Depot. Uh, I just bought two blues and I just marked one red, so, I mean, I marked one black so that, you know, let's say, know that that's the uh, hot water. Oh, I spliced that one together and I had the line going through. Bore the hole straight through, two holes, one for my drain pipe. Another one right there. Back with some of that's the cold water. I have my drain pipe right here. I was gonna buy something where I can did have a drain pipe glued onto right here, but the water pressure coming out was just way too fast, so I just decided to go ahead and cut it off and let it drain out like this and cover it up, you know, whenever whenever is whenever when I move out. I just did a clip to cover that up. But right, let's go through the modes of the panda. I'm gonna pause. Well I have it locked right now, so I can look at my little guy running around. One, two, three, one for three seconds. It will unlock, so we'll pause it. And then we'll start to mode one. Mode one. 66 minutes. B means wash. It's all these tells you right there. BD means wash. It means soak. CC means rinse. When it rinses, you expect it to spin. It does not spin. It just drains the water. Water does not come out. It solemnly rarely does. It just, uh, in spin mode, I believe, that's when the water comes out. And then we'll just pause. You have to pause it every time you choose a mode, so here's the program. This is your water level. One, water level one. This is your tank right here. So I always choose five because more water the better and more movement. Program is the program two standard. 47 minutes. We'll pause. Program three, which is quick wash. 23 minutes. We'll pause. This is a solid machine. Uh, five. Five minutes. Pause. Mode six. Wash is 17 minutes, which is nothing. And wash and rinse. Uh, wash and rinse is 39 minutes. Pause. Eight. Rinse and spin. 30 minutes. Pause. Nine is spin. Eight minutes. So we'll pause. Ten is air dry, and that's 60 minutes. It actually does get your, your clothes very uh, just damp at the moment. So that you dry them, obviously, so it's kind of damp. Uh, and we're going to go back to the original wash that was on which I had it on, I mean I'm not in a rush and I have quite a bit of clothes in here. I'm going to go ahead and do heavy duty. I usually do quick wash 20 minutes and 30 minutes in the dryer and I'm good. I have a towel, a couple articles of clothing, some of the kids clothes. I just keep up with the laundry so this way it doesn't go back in. So I control my water. If I want it cold, I just go ahead and obviously just adjust it to the position that you want. So put as much water as you want in. I'm letting more cold in than hot. Turn off hot water right now. They recommend during, after operation of the machine, turn off, you know, turn off your valve. I have no response level, which I'm very surprised. Just pull out the, uh, pull out the cord. Pull out the cord when you're done, so I mean, it doesn't drain power. Get out the dryer. Maybe getting this dryer, I end up looking at the reviews on it. It's way better than any other dryer I've seen that was on Amazon. I mean, this was a new machine that came out. I was like, you know what, I saw enough people get reviews, I bought it, and I'm really surprised about the, the, the clean quality. I mean, it, it really does clean clothes in, in a fast fashion, as you can see here. It has a little filter on the side, located on the side. I'll show you it real quick. Pause it every time you open it up. There is a filter located on the side. You can't really see it. It's right there. Pointing right out of you, unclip it, and that collects lint. You have your little filter in here, and when you're dealing with this dryer, you do have an air intake filter right here. These, you don't have to buy new ones. I just wash mine, and then I let them air dry, and they get clean every time. 
This is one of the filters for the, as you can tell, I just clean the filter, I do it after every dry, so another can see that pops out. Okay, pops out like that, then you put your filter, and snap it right back in. I had these little jumble things to turn the clothes on. I wash a queen size blanket in here and while dry a queen size blanket and wash a queen size blanket in here, it did not damage the machine. I washed them for a total, I washed like maybe 20 loads within a 48 hour span constantly to test out the machine so that I would send it back within 30 days. Solid machine, recommended to anybody. If you have any more questions, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and start the box, continue the wash. And when it drains, I'll go ahead and add that into the video as an update. Okay.